So my name is Kimberly. I'm a third year medical student and this is my Imperial journey. Um, I chose Imperial because when I came here for the open day um, everyone was really welcoming, everyone was really ready to answer my questions. Um, I wanted to study medicine here because obviously I'd looked around those other unis for the course that I wanted um, and I just felt like this was one of the places that matched the most for me um, just because of the structure of the course, the way that we learn, the location, so yeah that's why. So living in London and being a student here is I think probably one of the best decisions I've ever made. Um, I love being a student here, there's always so much to do even if it's not involved with the university itself just outside um, of Imperial and as in general there's always so much to do so many places you can go um, you never be bored but also there are places in London where you think it's just a massive bustling city but there are places of peace places of calm um, where you can um, you know just wind down um, so it's a six-year course um, which is split into sort of three stages so the first stage is sort of the preclinical years um, where you'll be sort of going over like um, the bare bones, as you like, of medicine. Um, the third, fifth and sixth year um, are the clinical years, so we spend them in hospitals, um, with patients, um, applying our preclinical knowledge to um, real life scenarios. Um, and then our fourth year is um, a year where we get to intercalate, so we just do a BSc of our choice, which is um, a subject affiliated medicine, so that's what the course is like. I just love that there's so much variety every day, even with the same like normal science. Um, I also love all the other stuff that the medical school allows you to do, like the opportunities that there are. Um, so I have chances to do all sorts of stuff um, around my studies as well within the medical school. You know, I'm a bit part of the minority group in terms of the UK. Um, Imperial actually has quite a strong international presence in that there are people from all over the world. Um, in my friendship group, I have people that um, grew up in South America, grew up in Asia, grew up in Africa, literally from all over the all over the place. I never felt like it has hindered or affected my learning or the way that I go about my uni life in any way. I feel like no, not at all. I do have like quite a strong work life balance, so I don't um, spend all my days in the library. I don't like spend all my days um, after lectures five hours doing work. I do have fun. I do get out. Um, I spend time with friends doing other things but it is about you know you're at university to work at the end of the day so finding that time um, to work as well is important. So the clubs and societies um, when I first joined I was kind of open but I always kind of knew which ones I wanted to get involved in so I always knew that netball for me was something that I really wanted to do because I played it in school I wanted to keep it up here um, so yeah that's something that I had always considered but in my in the past I played hockey at school I'd done a little bit of lacrosse and I wanted to see you know what that might be like at university if I can try something new there. In first year there were times when I felt like yeah maybe I could get a bit of welfare, have a chat to some of the, the reps in my year um, who um, connect you to other people, staff um, that are relevant to whatever it is I wanted to talk about and I found that was a really helpful channel, very efficient, they're all really on it in terms of wanting to get you to the right person. Um, I've also used the um, the help when I was finding my first flat with my friends in second year when you're moving out of halls. Um, there's so many um, questions that you're going to have and um, everyone has the same questions and the, the support that you get from the university um, is you know, quite detailed and that they can always answer any of your questions or lead you to the right place if they can't. I very much still enjoy my social life. I just don't let my work hinder me having that balance because I think it's really important, you know, just mentally to have something else in your life that isn't uni work. I'm, you know, a sucker for staying in bed and watching Netflix. I'm not even going to lie. I love doing that sort of thing. Um, I, I don't feel any sort of guilt towards it. I love doing it, so I'm just going to do it. 